This is going to be a fantastic weight comparison video, guys. And listen to this lineup. Two different kinds of BST carbon fiber wheels, ceramic bearing and non-ceramic bearing, gloss and matte finish. Aprilia RSV4 RF forged aluminum wheels, Yamaha R1 magnesium wheels, non-forged aluminum wheels from a latest Tuono V4, old school Yamaha R1 2007 non-forged aluminum wheels, two different types of OZ racing forged aluminum wheels, Dimag and a carbon fiber wheel with no hub. This is going to be really interesting. Stay tuned everyone. Welcome everyone to Chasing Tents. My name is Abhi. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope everyone's looking after yourself and others, keeping clean and also appreciating your local medical staff. Guys, this is a very, very special video for me. A lot of work has gone in the background of making this video and I want to thank two very special companies Addison Tires, who've really bent over backwards to accommodate me. Imagine a company is closed for three weeks and they open and the first thing they get is me calling them saying, I need to make a YouTube video. Can you get some tires off these loads of these wheels? And you know what? They got me in and they sorted me out. And you know what? I trust them because I've got carbon wheels and I don't really go to anyone and everyone to get my tires replaced. I only go to qualified people and Addison Tires have got the right people for the right job. And secondly, I want to thank Bike HPS. Oh my goodness, I'm so grateful to them because I requested them to, uh, you know, weigh some wheels for me. And you know what? They just did it for me. I'm just so grateful. And, you know, unfortunately in this COVID-19 environment, you can't really go to a lot of premises. But Bike HPS made a nice video for me, which I'm going to showcase later on. And you know what, guys? Please don't skip this video, watch this whole video, you might learn a thing or two because I'm going to be weighing all the wheels and you might be surprised. So why am I making this video? There are two very important reasons. Number one, your own forged aluminium wheels which you get with your bike from factory aren't that much different from the aftermarket forged aluminium wheels okay number two we've got 200 210 220 horsepower bikes these days ducati v4 for example is that power really manageable no you need a manageable powered bike 180 horsepower odd and lighter unsprung mass on your bike so you can manage that power with some lightness with yourself and lightness also with the wheels or other parts so you can really kind of play around with the bike on the track and get better lap times. A famous 44 teeth video comparing the 1100cc V4 Panigale Ducati and 1000cc Aprilia RSV4 RF Haret circuit, Aprilia was quicker because power was more manageable. That's why I'm making this video, just to show you unsprung mass is key to everything. Now three very important and quick things I want to mention before I start weighing the wheels. Number one, the wheels are free from any extra weight. The only thing I've got left is the valves, the air valves in them. Everything else is gone. So you won't see any kind of balancing weights or anything on them. Secondly, what am I going to be weighing these wheels? Now, Salter kitchen weighing device, baggage, very accurate uh, weighing device, uh, a manual weighing device and a Salter human weighing device. Now, why have I got four? I just wanted to weigh the wheels on all four to see how different they are. And they're only about 10, 20 grams different. But this one was the most accurate because it just kept the weight at one figure. When I put the wheel on this very accurate Salter device, when the wheel moves a bit, the weight changes. And I don't want that. So I'm going to be using this. Finally, the third thing I wanted to mention is very powerful magnet. This is a very powerful magnet and I want to use the magnet to see with the magnesium and the aluminium wheels to see if, if they are impure then the magnet will stick. If they are pure aluminium and pure magnesium the magnet will not stick. So I really wanted to do this test and let me tell you something really funny. While I was doing a previous shot to show you how powerful these magnets are this magnet was also round and it, when I did this it stuck so kind of harshly that it exploded in my face and all the particles went in my eyes and I had to wash my eyes. So that's a, that's a little blooper scene I've got for the end. So watch that scene at the end. So let's start first of all, Yamaha R1 
2007 wheels. These are uh, non-forged aluminium wheels, so magnet test. So even though they are 13 years old, 2007, the magnet doesn't stick anywhere. Pure aluminium, fantastic. The magnet does stick to the wheel spacer because that's probably non-aluminium. So let's weigh them. This is the time to weigh them. I've got my trusted GoPro Hero 4, which has never gone wrong, to show you the weight. So let's turn this unit on. Okay, so now I'm going to hang it in the air and I'm going to leave it steady. I hope you can see it. It is 4.36 kilos and I'm going to change the unit to pounds, 9.61 pounds. So that's the front wheel of the Yamaha R1 2007. So this is the rear Yamaha 2007 R1 non-forged aluminium, 5.44 kilograms, 11.99 pounds. Now the next wheel I'm going to weigh is the Tuono V4 non-forged aluminium wheel, 3.85 kilograms, which is 8.49 pounds. Okay, so the rear Tuono V4 Aprilia wheel, non-forged aluminium, 6.48 kilograms, which is 14.29 pounds. Now the next set of wheels I'm going to weigh is going to be Yamaha R1 magnesium wheels. But before I weigh them, I'm quite curious to, so where's my magnet gone? Here we go. Magnet test. Fantastic. Magnet is not sticking to it at all. Let's do a spacer test. Yep. There you go. Nope. Doesn't stick anywhere except for the spacer again. So fantastic. So looks like we got some pure magnesium here. Okay, let's weigh them. Front wheel of magne uh, magnesium Yamaha R1. These are from 2015 bike. Let's leave it free in the air. 3.81 kilograms okay which is 8.40 pounds lovely let's do the rear okay so let's change the unit back to kilos first so this is 5.57 kilograms pounds 12.28 pounds that's your Yamaha R1 magnesium wheel Okay, the next one on the list is forged aluminium wheels from Aprilia RSV4 RF. Number one, magnet test. Absolutely brilliant. Not even half a percent feel. Yep, it sticks, it sticks to the, um, the spacer. Okay, let's quickly weigh them. Oh, let's get the GoPro as well. 3.09 kilograms, 6.81 pounds. Okay, so that was the front one. Let's quickly do the rear one as well. Let's change it to kilo first. Okay, so kilos, 4.88 kilograms. Pounds, 10.76 pounds. That's the rear wheel of an Aprilia RSV4 RF. So next on the list is BSC carbon fiber wheels. Now, especially these are ceramic bearing carbon fiber wheels, five spoke BST matte finish. Now, what is ceramic bearing quickly? It is very, very good, very less friction compared to a normal. I mean, I can feel it. I'm doing this. It is just butterly smooth. So ceramic bearings and normal bearings, there's a big difference in friction. Ceramic bearings, especially with load, if this had load on, you could really feel the difference. And you know what, I'm gonna do a special video, um, maybe next week, with ceramic bearings and non-ceramic bearings. But first, we gotta do the magnet test. You're gonna laugh at this. Why am I doing a magnet test on the carbon fiber wheels? Pointless, no. What I wanna really test to see, absolutely brilliant. All these things, this is all aluminium. Even the spacer is aluminium. Aluminium, aluminium. Nothing, you know, sticks to nothing. Brilliant, fantastic. 
Okay, so let's quickly weigh them. Okay, so let's do it. 2.57 kilograms for the front. Change the unit to pounds. 5.67 pounds. Okay, the rear one. When I move it to kilos, 4.15 kilos. That's 9.15 pounds. Let's do it again, 4.15 kilos, 9.15 pounds. So that's it, that's the rear BST carbon wheel. Now, you know what? I've got something special for you. Let me just put these away. What I have is, while we're doing the carbon wheels, I've got this. This is just the outer circle of the carbon wheels. Ignore this. This is hollow from inside. This is just, it's from my crash last year. If, haven't, if you haven't seen my silly crash, I'll put a link in the description. But yeah, it was a, a bad crash. And this is what's left of the front wheel. If it wasn't for this carbon fiber wheel, my bike would have taken a lot of damage. This acted as a crumple zone. So my forks didn't bend, my damper didn't bend, all my oil and stuff was perfect. Everything else in the front was perfect, except for the crack in my screen, I2M screen. Anyways, that's for another day. So what I really wanted to show you is, if I can get this around, and oh, also, I wanted to show you something else. A lot of people ask me when I'm doing track days on my I2M dash, how do the tire pressures and tire temperatures show? So this is a tire pressure sensor in the wheel. So this is how I get live tire pressures on my dash, and the tire temperatures are infrared, which are underneath the mud guards. So, okay. Let's do this. Will it fit? Will it do it? Oh, it's too wide. It's too wide. I'll have to use the trusted Salter kitchen one, which is also very accurate. Let it get ready. Okay, I just want to show you. I don't, I, I don't want this to fall, so I'm just going to put a finger here. 1.2, well... 1.2, that's why I wasn't using this, it's flickering between 1.2 kilograms and 1.1 kilograms, so only 10, so only 10, let's say 1.2, because it's got the tire pressure sensor on it and it's got a little bit of weight here for the uh, balancing, so yeah, 1.2 kilogram, that's all this thing is, I mean, one finger, little finger, fantastic, so big thing here, all the weight of a carbon fiber wheel is really centralized in this hub. And this is very important. This is what helps you with acceleration, better braking, and it puts less pressure on your brakes, fatigue, so many different things. Because the outer area, the outer, compared to the, all the other wheels, the outer area just weighs absolutely nothing. And this is what I wanted to show you with this one. So let's weigh, while we're at it, Let's weigh, and I have, I have not done this weighing before. Sorry, I've dropped my weighing thing. Uh, okay, let's weigh now a rear carbon fiber wheel. Gloss, BST, same, exactly the same, five spoke, but this one is non-ceramic bearing. 4.14 kilograms, which is... 9.13 pounds. So, if I've not done it again, oh well, yeah, so this, you know what? In terms of weight, not much difference at all, or no difference whatsoever between the ceramic and the non-ceramic. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the video to a very important chap who's really helped me out here. Giles Harwood, Managing Director by HPS. He's gonna be weighing some OZ wheels, two different types, and a front die mag, and also a front BST. To s Let's see if it's any different to my BST. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to put the video now to Giles from Bike HPS. Giles, take it away. Hi there, Abby. Giles here from HPS, and thanks for giving us the opportunity to talk about some of these wheel weights. So uh, let's get straight into it. This is a, a five spoke OZ a Piega wheel, pretty typical aftermarket metal wheel. Pop it on the scales and uh, you'll see that the weight of that comes out at uh, 
3.56 kilograms, so not particularly light, but lighter than a, than a standard wheel. Let's now pop the rear one on there as well. So this is the uh, the corresponding rear OZ Piego with its sprocket carrier attached, and that comes out at 5.68 kilograms. Getting slightly more exotic, um, OZ have a wheel called a gas which is still aluminium but it's six spokes and even with these disc adapters on and the spacers you'll see this wheel is slightly lighter than the five spoke Piega. It's got some nice features like little cutouts around the edge of the rim and that um, weighs in at 3.51 kilograms so slightly lighter than the than the Piega. Let's get the rear one down as well and see how that compares. Here's the, the rear gas um, again with its socket carrier for a fair comparison and uh, that comes in at uh, 5.28 kilograms. So these are the wheels that people are buying because they, they think they're going to be beneficial over the standard wheels they will. But interestingly enough as a, as a comparison, here's a Dimag UP7X aluminium 4 7 spoke wheel put that on the scale, you see that's actually got space in it as well and that comes out at uh, 3.17 kilograms so that is actually the lightest Ford aluminium wheel we ever come across and uh, you're getting into the levels now you'll start to feel more difference on the bike and lastly and for completeness then let's just do a carbon fibre wheel here's a BST fire spoke, this one's for a fire blade pop that on the scales and uh, that comes out at uh, 2.63 kilograms, which is 26% uh, lighter than the, than the Piega, almost a kilogram lighter. So I uh, hope this is useful information. And uh, so back to you, Abby. Thank you. Thank you very much, Giles. I really appreciate it. And massive thank you to Bike HPS. You know what? When a managing director, Giles Harwood, comes to the rescue. I gave them a ring and I said I'd like to come to your premises. Unfortunately, because of social distancing and all the rules around it, they couldn't accommodate me, but they were kind enough to make a video for me and I'm so grateful. This is absolutely unbelievable and this is this is what biking community is all about. We are such a small community and, and when someone needs help or information, you know what, Giles had a 45 minute conversation with me about unsprung mass and, and weights of different things including uh, you know, brake pads and some uh, kind of pistons in the calipers which keep your calipers cool. That's coming up uh, one day soon. Anyways, guys, so Giles just showed something really, really interesting that the aftermarket latest OZ wheels aren't that far away from your factory. Uh, uh, you know, these Aprilia ones are even lighter. You know, it's unbelievable uh, the weight. So what I'm going to do is, I think the only way, uh, wheel which haven't we haven't really measured is Marchesini. I'll get some weight for that and I'll put that in the description. But to be very honest with you, the whole summary of this video is all just to show that your own factory OEM aluminium wheels these days are not that heavy. They're amazing. But most importantly, it's all about carbon lightness. Because as I showed you, how much was this around what? 1.2 kilos? I mean, this is unheard of. So apologies guys, I know there were one or two audio glitches in the video. I'm trying to find a cause of this white noise. Sometimes it just comes into my videos without a warning. So I hope you enjoyed this video, but most importantly you learned uh, something new, uh, which is your forged uh, factory fitted aluminium wheels aren't that different to the forged aftermarket wheels you can get in the market. And guys, you know what, I'm going to say the same thing again which I've said before, go carbon because the prices are the same. I've made a detailed, I think 18 minute video on carbon fiber wheels. I'm gonna leave a, uh, a link in the description. Please go and watch it. I really think it's the future. No matter if it's acceleration, braking, handling, track, road, whatever. They've got flex, they've got strength, they've got all sorts of kind of properties which are helpful you know, in gaining lap times and all sorts. So guys, I really hope you found this video useful. Please do like this video and comment on it. If you've got any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them. Please do subscribe to my channel and most importantly, share my video with other people so they might learn a thing or two. And guys, thank you so much. Please keep safe. Please do subscribe. Look after yourself.
magnet test fantastic this is a very powerful magnet i've got another one ow 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 what the hell flipping broke what the hell fuck Phew. what the hell flip in heck <laughs>